Hi. Hi. So welcome to the Weekly Bitch. Weekly Bitch. Oh, this is fantastic. So, yeah. Can we hurry this up? I'm topless. Oh. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Woo! Well, I don't really have that hard body, so. Well, it's only hard because it's all bone. So I feel like we should probably talk about your birthday because your birthday was pretty recent, right? It was. Um, not too many people, except for my really good friends, experience it with me because they are too lazy and unappreciative to come to my house where I provide them a lot of good food and free alcohol and places to sleep. But that's besides the point. Yeah, and I got to actually see my full dance battle with his roommate, Rue. Dance which is battle. Out of control. And I was so excited the next day when I heard that they had a dance battle, but in actuality, I watched the whole thing. I just don't remember any of it. We um, we polished off 28 bottles of champagne. This last champagne. Um, some Tennessee a honey. A full bottle of Jack, Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. Delicious. Five bottles of vodka. Ten, Ten bottles of vodka. Granted, they weren't full because we would probably all be dead. Was it like half a bottle of Fireball too? Um, yeah, yeah, we don't. Oh my god. So good party, right? Yeah, good it was birthday. great. Good time. It was a good time. That's really, usually, usually how my parties go. But it was a strange <laughs> evening because his roommate actually works with a girl that I went to high school with. And I reconnected with her and her husband, who I also went to high school with and graduated uh -huh. And what, what about her husband? Huh? Her husband's so hot. He's still hot now. He was a football player in high school. He was actually one of the football players that wasn't a giant D-bag to yeah. me in high school. Because in high school, high school was not an enjoyable time for me. I actually got spit on in the locker room. It was not a fun experience. But, I mean, life is, it gets better. I mean, we're, we're sitting here right now, we're topless right. for you. Yeah. Sorry and about that. The reason that we're topless is because of the topic that we pulled out of this, our lovely bitch jar Yay, earlier. Bitch jar. And it was about body image. So Which plagues not only the gay community, but everyone. But because we're gay, we're going to talk about the gay plaguing. Body image is one of those topics that people, that almost everybody can relate to. Yeah, we all got our problems. You never feel like you're good enough, or this could be tighter, or this could be smaller, oh, yeah. like these could be better, or I could have bigger muscles, those types of things. Everything better. I feel like by us being topless, that we're kind of saying it's okay. Like, honestly. Put it all out there for you. I'm telling you right now, I'm not completely like okay with my body, but it's okay. I, I don't like my body either, actually, at all. I think you're I have a hard body, body which I don't. I mean, let's real. talk about these abs right uh, here. It's shadow play. It's shadow are, play. You cannot... Actually, draw, drew them on with Sharpies. I don't even want to call this a spare tire. It's not a spare tire, it's like one of those. Um, 18 wheeler. I knew you were going to say that. Tires. I knew it. But it's been, I mean, it's this year was good. Yeah, lost, you lost a ton of weight. I lost 50 Super pounds. Super kudos to you. And you're going to, and you keep go, keep going. I lost 50 <laughs> pounds by not eating cake for dinner and going <laughs> to the gym. Anywhere. I would really just love to be able to go to the gym and work out for like an hour and a half or two hours and then be able to go eat Jack and Box and not gain any weight. But that doesn't happen in real life. No, to anyone. That doesn't happen to me. Hell no, it does not happen. <laughs> so body image within the gay community. So bad, it's bad. But it's good. I feel like it's like a bad, good thing. It's a good, bad thing. Like a, but I feel like it's not good because I am not a sexually desirable being because I've got this and these lovely boobies right here. Right. Uh, that is how it is. Well, because my chest isn't out to here with muscle and I don't have rippling obliques. But we can see your clavicle. You have a shoulder dead. No, I don't. I have, see to do this. The I have to take a selfie. Out. I have to take a selfie. From okay, the well, there. Shirt. I have to do the same thing. See, this is what I have to do. <laughs> but then, when someone wants to see me shirtless, I'm like, eh, well, I can just keep it on. Ugh. Well, body image, I think, permeates the uh, our society as a whole. It's oh. not just gay men. It's not just women. Mm -hmm. It's not just lesbians. It's not just straight guys. Yeah, it permeates everyone. I think it's just ridiculous that yeah, yeah. we are forced to, I don't think we're forced to, but I feel like there is a expectation. Underlying. There's an underlying expectation that 
I am supposed to look like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. Just not when human. I love. They look like that because they're paid to when look I like that. Love that's their life. They get paid to go to the gym. Girl, I got a real job. I yeah. cannot get. And paid that's to I think out. one of the things that a lot of uh, culture needs to realize, especially gay culture, is that like we're not all being paid to go to the gym every day. And we're not all supposed to look the same. And we also all don't have the same body. And like I said, it permeates. Everything. Society as a whole, and I think we play into it. Oh, yeah, I think that's our downfall. Well, I make sure I tell myself you're not going to the gym so that you can get a hot piece of ass You're going to the gym because you want to be a hot piece of ass when you're 60 I want to be old and gray with those rippling muscles. I want I'd like a to lot look of like help. Jason Momoa I don't know who that is. Um, Cal Drogo from the Oh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, 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 I would okay. love to look like him. He is of my culture. He is Hawaiian is he? I'm not sure if he is. <laughs> I think he is. I'm pretty sure he is. Can Someone? we fact check? Can, 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 comment below. Fact check. Yeah, fact check. Can fact you check. comment Google, below? Can you Google it yeah, for us? Google because it? we're obviously incapable of walking 10 I... feet to a computer to Google it. Let's revisit our conversations about how you were questioning whether or not you wanted to get skinny. I'm, I'm terrified to lose weight because I feel like I won't be as funny. So because I won't be within the role. Consciously being aware of your body image. It's so, so what you're saying annoying. is, it's hard on both sides of the spectrum. Yeah, oh yeah. Did you know how much money I have to spend? I just dropped a hundred dollars on protein and supplements. Prepared it takes to, a lot of I'm not prepared power. to take that step. Yeah, it takes a lot of willpower. I'm not prepared to but, take that step. But, see, that's what you do to break a current cycle you're in. You have to take those steps if you need to change like your body image. Right. Or if you're on a track to change your body image. Thank you, crock pots. Right. Thank you, crock pots <laughs> and crock pot cookers. I have a crock pot cookbook and I'm gonna use that shit hardcore. I can make- That book's not even gonna be real. It's gonna disintegrate on when you use it. I can make 10 meals. Meal like planning. Lunch. Yeah, meal planning. But it's actually really important meal to prep. stay on track. Meal prep. I hate agreeing with meatheads because- Right. But they're not all- needy in their head. Need to be healthy. It doesn't matter what you look like, but if you're healthy inside. Um, struggles I have with my body image is I see these people that are ripped or like skinny and then I'm like, um, what do they look like inside? I, it's taken me three years to lose 45 pounds and maintain to keep it off and try to build muscle. Three years and I still look like this. And I go to the gym three to five times a week. But it took me, it took me nine months to lose that 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. Nine months. It's all about being active. small steps. Yeah. Small steps to get to your goal. Time. But so. we want you all to love your bodies. Yeah, I want you to love your bodies. Because we you love you regardless of what you look like, if, really. If you got moves, love them. Yeah. But you know what, be like, you know what? I love my moves, but I'd like them to be smaller. Or if you've got a bird chest, like this I one? I do not have a bird chest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, and I'm feeding into his body image now. I'm feeding into this his body This is why I have one. It's my fault. Bottom line, love your body. Yeah. Bottom line. Be healthy. So, we love you guys. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Tell us what you don't like about it. Tell us what you like about it. Yeah. Comment, subscribe, but don't down tell below. me I have a bird chest because those won't go over with me. You can tell me I have giant man boobs. I'm totally fine with that. Like, fine, I guess fine. I'll take a bird chest like, comment or two, like, but I don't want a lot. Thanks for watching our video, and we'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye! bye.